uh, as you see many of them are not even tracked yet but that's mostly about the tuning of the model and right here now it's not performing great so far on the on this square right here it has much harder time to get the idea but at the same time we will have much less false positive with OC sort we saw that after a, after a while we had like 920 ID here it takes much longer to give the association but of course it's not working well we will try now OS strong sort strong sort is much more advanced because it will make also deep learning association so not only will check the possible object but also it will cut part of the image so it will cut the bounding box and it will make association of that bounding box strong sort integrates deep learning we see it's working pretty well in comparison with the other ones and we will see that over time it will be much more reliable to keep the id why because it doesn't only check the location but it also check if it's similar so it will take crop the rectangle with the person and it will compare with the new possible position if that's the same person and that's why it's so much more reliable you might be wondering okay if this is so good why don't we use just this one strong sort all the time because there are problems of course with speed versus accuracy now i will show you running this in real time how with the graphic card i have it performs in comparison with the other one so if we run just strong sort right now so now i'm running strong sort and that's the maximum the maximum that we are getting in this exact moment with speed there might be some optimization of course that we can do like for everything but in general it's computationally very expensive and we have our time to get in real time speed especially if we are running this on many cameras or of course you can get real time speed that will be much more computationally expensive so if you are renting graphic cards if you are using amazon aws and so on you will pay much more for this detection